<laughs> oh man, what have I got myself into? We'll see. Wow, that's loud. Why is it so loud? The question is, who, who make, uh, then this is not supposed to come off as a knock against this game or the developers, or, but like, who makes a game like this? I obviously have no, no, know nothing about this game. I know about, I don't know if this is a series or what, but wow, this game wants to blow it out my ear, dude. Wow. That's too much. Okay. Oh no. Jeez. Now let's go, dude. So this is like, uh, what was that? One of those rise. There you go. One of those Xbox launch games. First time I saw this game, I was like, it looks like Rise. The, the thing is, I haven't even seen, I've never seen this game before. I've never seen this game before. Okay, or present day. So, what is this going to be some sort of like Assassin's Creed thing? What? Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. Oh my god, what I the hell? This ID, a phone maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose Oh change. man, what the hell? She's all so, pet me down, dude. Want to tell me who you are? <laughs> this girl. That's so funny. This reminds me um this reminds me so much of um Famicom Detective. This is how Famicom Detective starts. Select your body type. Uh, uh. <laughs> Are these right. I'll just go with me. Nice to meet you. What is this? Some sort of Elder Scrolls game? I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's any the idea why there? there's a dragonfly flying around the back of your head? <laughs> ah, I just flew off. What's the last thing I remember? I was searching for ancient ruins. A covert mission. I'm running for the law. I barely remember anything. Your tr head trauma has increased your pain threshold. <laughs> you can't remember how to feel pain. <laughs> this fucking game's crazy, dude. Um. Amnesiac. It does look like you took a pretty hard blow to the head. This guy—I don't You're know why, but this girl's. This girl is unusually is cute I for a weird lo AI-looking person. I have a favor to ask. Okay. Ooh. There are some ruins just behind you. Ruins. Roman, I think. What? I need you to go in there and see if you can find it. You fucking gotta be kidding me, dude. A few hours ago. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I've been freaking out. I washed up on the sure the side of a worse. river. I'm probably I soaking, drenched, and freezing right now. You made me to stay here, no matter what. What? You just you, you just pulled me out of the river. Happen? I told you I have amnesia. You, you patted on my pockets. I, I had no I mind. had no um, identification, and now you're like. Oh, of course. Sorry. Now you're like, can you I go in and find my boyfriend for me? 
What do you want to know? This sounds like crazy talk. Who is Al? Who's Al? He's the, the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long what? ago. What? You did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. What? This is even more ridiculous. Another guy washed up on the shore. In any case, are you kidding me? I just woke up. It's eight o'clock in the morning. This is way too early for this shit. Who's Al? I thought Al was his boyfriend, dude. So, uh, what's your story? How you doing? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job. Who wrote this shit, dude? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Not even gonna tell me your name? <laughs> She's gonna be like, I don't feel comfortable giving a stranger my name. Oh, uh, I'd rather not. Oh, see what I mean, name. dude? But it's okay to ask me to go into ruins for you? You bitch. I'd really like to help. I'd really like to know, especially if I'm gonna be helping you. Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded Karen. Oh, her fucking name is Karen. I'm done with this game, dude. Fucking Karens are always telling me what to do. My name's Karen. <laughs> Who wrote this? This has got to be a troll, dude. There's no way somebody wrote this, like, seriously, right? It can't be. It can't be, dude. It can... You cannot be serious. Well, thanks for like, saving my life, Karen. All those Karen memes have ruined that name. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> I told you. Okay, so somebody wrote this ironically, right? I should have said thank you for saving my life. Finding Al? Uh, so what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Can you tell me your oh, name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Uh, I really don't know, especially if I'm going to be helping you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Thanks for saving my life, Karen. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Can you tell me about the ruin? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Something's up, dude. Who are we? Uh, where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Uh, that's funny. We're in Italy, considering the fact that you're, you know. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? All right, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Dude, I'm Please. telling you, man. Hurry. Oh, she and. He left this here, but I think you'll need it more than I will. Think it's a gun? Oh, the flashlight. It's even more dangerous. Oh, Lord. How do I run in this game? Can I not run? Oh, what? What is this? What is this? What? Photo mode. That's photo mode? Oh my god. Why are there so many? What? Uh, oh no, I knew I was gonna go buy it. Ruins? Where? You can't even run. You can't even run. But what the hell? What the hell? He went in these ruins, but oh, she's so stupid, dude. Where? How do you run in this game? Oh, there you go. You have to look it up. Why is L sprint? I try to click on the. Al's note. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost. Except what? 
What? I was trying to grab those, dude. In a Latin inscription here. I guess <laughs> the note keeps reading after I fell through the water. Step four, and be judged. <laughs> it waited until I got out of the water so I couldn't, so I could hear it. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? People have survived down there against the odds. Seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. Wow, this game looks pre uh, pretty good for considering, like, I don't know if it's a big budget title or what. Oh my lord. I'm kind of interested in this. Oh, what? Oh no. It's a whisper. Oh shit, I can't hear anything now. It's too low. I keep wanting to run by quick. Uh. Keep clicking. I keep clicking it to go with it. Okay. Oh, shit. Why is it so dark? I feel like I want to turn on me. Can I change these? Can I change these? Oh fuck, I hit no. It they changed it on me. Sprint uh slide changes, there you go. I have to hold it down? Oh shit. There's no click to sprint. Oh my lord, look at that. Follow Al's trail. Can I change this? How do I change the uh, flashlight? Where's the flashlight button? Flashlight button. Where's flashlight? Is there a flashlight? Is this a binary? Weapon? There's a... She'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. That's Al? Searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here, there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. Holding golden stuff. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right, and I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. 
Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Oh, oh! Piece of shit, woman. Scared the shit out of me. This game is the weirdest game I have ever accidentally played. <laughs> Cycle through the weapons. Okay, so, so I, I, um, I can change. Cycle through weapons. How do you cycle through? Where's the button to cycle through weapons? Next weapon, there you go. Next visual style. Ugh. Preview floor button, right? Visual side photo mode. What if I don't want this to be anything? Good, I'm just get rid of this. I don't want photo mode or visual style on here. No, I see. Shit, I don't know this. Oh, what? Find out how to return to your. Oh boy, here's a person here. Why? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the shrine of Proserpina? Oh no. Are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait, are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? Is that how people That's talk right, in ancient? Friend. Everyone's welcome here. Uh, thanks, I guess. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Don't fuck me. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Hmm. You are lost. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? All right, leave Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Uh-oh. Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Ooh. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's, uh, it's not my place to say. 
Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Uh oh. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So, don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the pillars. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. Oh, this seems you like better a... go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. I'm gonna kill all these guys. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. What? When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the Legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten. Made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Hmm. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. Oh wow! We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock, because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. What? You're gonna kill ten arrest. people? Who's up these stairs? I'm talking to you. What now? What's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. Whoops. Whoops. Sure I also keep a register of new arrivals. How'd you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I... I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. I'm sorry, no. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. This guy's cool, dude. He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Hmm. Can't ask for much more than that. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Commoner Tavern Keep claims to know where. Ooh! Claudia Patrician. Palmer Forum Merchant.
Hannibal, oh shit. Kabashi, spirit. They do. Malicious money lending up which are locked mal mal locked herself in palace. Restricted to her via for his own safety. Shit. Damn, I gotta remember all these. Of course. Alright. Just push him off the edge. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I should have named myself Davide. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Seven months? Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. This does not seem like paradise to me, and my friend. And all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Oh, this is all bullshit. Yes. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. I'm but not sure I believe you. For this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, oh, every see. last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From mm. what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, Turning us all to gold. Oh. We've got to call it the golden. Wow, this game is crazy. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. What? All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. We'll come to this An thing. intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Okay, okay. I'm glad you agree. The key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy, murder, assault, and rape, 
as well as theft and arson and so on. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. What do you mean, prosper in yourself? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. Hmm. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. What? And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Shit. Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Still breaks my heart to hear oh, the truth. Oh, I see. Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Gotcha. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? Mm -hmm. What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. This guy's surprisingly... If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. Oh my if god, occurs, some time travel you bullshit. You should back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Makes sense. Sure, why not? Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, wow. come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, 
I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Wow, dude. What a weird, weird, weird game, dude. It wasn't... It said, like, I had weapons in combat and stuff, right? Citizen. This will be interesting. Citizen. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Hey, Horatius. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to go me as well. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Yulia. She was a good woman. She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Snake? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day, or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from Dude, marching this game up is to that pretty fucking cool. and scratching his eyes out. If you get sick or injured, day or night, I'll do what I can. What an interesting... Oh, no. No items. But there's combat in this game, too? I'm super curious as to where... I don't have time to get really into this game, but I'm super curious as to where this is going to go. This is... This was a pleasant surprise, dude. This is... Looking at this game right here, the Forgotten City, it's like who who would have thought it was gonna be like this? Later guys.